I'm George Glass, CTO of the TM Forum. Hi, I'm Jason Keane. I'm the head of portfolio for BSS and OSS Solutions in Ericsson. So we've been working on the transformation of the OSS and BSS for a number of years now. And the key thing is to actually make that an agile, programmable environment by creating a set of components that are plug and play, that expose their business capabilities via industry standard open APIs. That enables the transformation of a telco to attack legacy applications, wrapping them in the open APIs and transforming the applications behind the APIs. But it also enables those APIs and the business capabilities to be exposed into developer marketplaces to create new opportunities for creating products and services in a digital ecosystem outside of the typical remit of a telco operation. I think the first thing that service providers have to do is they have to start decoupling the network. There's a lot of investment in existing technologies, and as you said, they want to get this flexible, programmable network. Well, the first thing is programmable. So in order to be able to program the network, they have to be able to orchestrate it. They need a way to actually enable the assets so that when they send down a programmatic request to do something, it actually happens. So how we're enabling orchestrators today is to allow them to orchestrate end-to-end, -to, -end, to allow them to actually manage these assets to deliver the end-value service. This is part of how we will enable operators to go to higher levels of automation and revenue. Um, so for us, that's where we're starting. I mean, the vision that they want to get to, the transformation, the aim of hyper-cloud providers, it's all start by giving a programmable network and doing so, can we orchestrate that correctly? Yes, yeah, so we've been working on autonomous networks for about five years. We've defined the AN levels from zero through to five, and we've heard many of our members actually aspiring to achieve AN level four. But as we've been working on the key effective indicators that allow you to determine exactly what AN level you're at, and we've rolled out our AN levels evaluation tool across the RAN and the IP core, what we've actually found from the service providers that we've surveyed is that they're typically hovering in and around the 2.5, 2.6 mark. So there's a long way to go before we get to AN level four. And to achieve AN level four, you actually have to have AI embedded into your IT operations and your network operations to enable that level of autonomy. Oh, good question. Um, I think if we look at it, while we want to get to AN level four, we have a lot to do. As George said, we're at 2.6 right now. Our, our customers are 2.6. That's not true of lack of desire, but we also have to recognize there's actually a lot of deployed technology out there that's not ready, but it's making money for them today. I think where we see Gen AI is, is that they can actually help create and help the transformation or transition from their current position and the gaps that they have uh, towards this autonomous network. How we're deploying it today, we're deploying it in simple things like how we close the gap on a dynamic inventory, how we complete a loop, when, it, when something fails, what is the right next step for the solution to take? And ultimately to get to autonomous level four, so the network can operate independently, it has to have, as you've said on top, we don't want, to, you don't want the operator inside the loop, we want them outside the loop sitting on the loop. I think that's a key enabler for us in this business. So we intend to use those technologies to keep our operators, our customers outside the loop so they can actually let the system manage itself correctly and on its own. Thanks very much. And thanks for watching.